Welcome to Thought for January the 14th. Our readings are taken from Genesis 25 and 26, Psalm 31 and Matthew chapter 16. And our thought is, On this rock I will build. In ancient times, a rock symbolised something secure and God was the ultimate rock. David wrote in the Psalms, as we read two days ago, To you, O Lord, I call my rock. Be not deaf to me. Psalm 28 verse 1. He also pleads with God, When my heart is faint, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Psalm 61 verse 2. In today's reading in Matthew, Jesus seems to call Peter a rock. Verse, uh, verse 18. But read the context carefully. Among the people there is increasing speculation as to who Jesus is. And he asks his disciples, Who do you say that I am? Verse 15. Peter then declared, You are the Christ, or Messiah, the Son of the living God. Verse 16. This declaration is the rock. The possession of true insight and real faith. It is on this rock, says Jesus, that I will build my church, and the gates of hell, or Hades, that is the grave, will not prevail against it. Verse 18. It is true faith that makes death but a sleep with a wonderful waking, as J David believed. See Psalm 17, verse 15. We recall it was Jesus who added the name Peter to Simon in Luke 6 and verse 14, when he called him to be a disciple. The name Peter means a rock, Petros. Yet human rocks have to prove themselves. Jesus was, and still is, looking for such rocks, who have the true insight of faith, on which I will build my church. Verse 18. As the early chapters of the book of Acts reveal, Peter became the rock around which the first community of believers in Jerusalem was built. But before then, he failed disastrously. The next verse tells us that from that time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and be killed. Peter reacted in an astonishing way. He began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, Lord. This shall never happen to you. Verse 22. Jesus responded by saying to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a hindrance to me. You are not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of man. Verse 23. To the set of our mind is vital. If they are wrong, we end up being opposed to God and to Jesus. At the end of his life, the set of Solomon's mind became wrong and God raised up adversaries to him. And his word in the Hebrew is the word Satanus, as in 2 Kings 11, verse 14, 23 and 25, which names the Satans that oppose Solomon. Those who develop a true faith become, in Christ's eyes, a rock on which even today he can build. Let us make sure the set of our minds is on godly ways, with a readiness to become a rock, with a true faith in his service, and never a Satan. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word as we remember that they are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.